Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace CV Axe on Mazda CX-7. We are doing engine replacement, so quite a few videos to come here on that uh, model. You can see we have one here that was in a minor accident and one that uh, looks pretty awesome there. So uh, this is a CV Axle that we removed, stay with us. We will show you how to do that now. It will be about the same procedure for front left and front right side. So some minor differences but not much. Stay with us and let's go ahead and start on it now. Alright guys, so we need to have the car on the tires, don't jack it up yet. We're going to remove that center cap. Okay, be careful not to break this one, but we will need to break that big, uh, big nut loose. Okay, this one right here. So uh, you can see one spot is flattened. Okay, so that prevents it from getting loose. So we need to get a small screwdriver. Okay, and uh, just straighten that piece. Okay, to make sure that it's round again and it's uh, okay like that. It's not holding at all. Okay, you can see that would be great. Now uh, some use different different sizes. We know this in the past. Uh, this one is with a 36. Some use 34, I think. And you have the car in park or one person holding the brake. Okay, in. Uh, you're gonna take it off. Sometimes you have to use a cheater bar. Sometimes they're super tight, believe me. You have to use a big impact too. Okay, so we got it loose. That's plenty. So uh, we can just leave it there now. Or you can take it off, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we, we got the lug nuts loose already. So we're just going to jack the car up quick. And uh, we'll proceed with removing the CV axle. Okay, it's on jack stands, taking the wheel off now. Okay, right there. And make sure you use the jack stand, not just the jack itself, never rely on the jack. Okay, so uh, we're going to turn the wheel to the right now. That's the, the outer tie rod right here. So if you guess, if you get a, a factory one, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to break that nut loose right here now, okay? And we're not going to move it at all. Factory most likely will be the same length, might be different. So that's why we say always check your alignment after that, not to, wait, uh, to eat your tires and better alignment makes your car unstable as well. So now uh, we use a seven eight here, okay? Or uh, I think, Okay, right here, we need to get it loose. It's, those tend to be pretty tight, believe me. So, we'll just use the hammer on it. Okay, still, still tight. So, next we need to pull that uh, little thing there that's preventing the nut from getting loose. This is with a 17 millimeter socket that we're going to use now. To, to get it uh, loose. This is for the outer tie rod here. Okay, like that. And after that, we're just going to use the little impact, save us a little bit of time, and we're going to show you how to take it off now. You need to use a hammer and hit it right here on the cast iron, never hit on the bolt. Okay, came loose, you can see. Next thing we'll need to disconnect the sway bar ring with a 14 millimeter socket there. Okay, those sometimes tend to be tight. And if it starts spinning inside, there is a place for an Allen wrench. Okay, we're going to show you what we're going to use. And a 14 millimeter wrench as well. Okay, right there, came out, not as well. Okay, so we can pull the sway bar link to the side now. 
and if it's too tight you might need to use the uh, pry bar to get it out because there is pressure on it from the sway burning <laughs> Okay, you can just use a big bar over the sway bar, that way you relieve the pressure off of it. Next there is a bolt for the U-joint on the bottom. Hard to show you there guys. Okay, 14 millimeter. Okay, the one right here. So take this nut off. And after you take the nut, uh, you need to pull the bolt towards the front. Some go different ways, so check, remember how you remove it. Okay, right there. And this is the bolt right here. We're going to take the nut off now. Now we need to get the control arm down. Uh, the CV oh. Okay the U joint it came loose It came loose quite a bit so uh, if you have one person actually stepping on this one Okay and it just got a little bit stuck now so we'll need to hit it again Okay and then you can pull it out okay to the side like that okay next we can go ahead and okay gently hammer the CV axle out of there sometimes they'll be stuck you might need to spray some WD forward Okay, just uh, make sure that you don't break the ABS sensor. You can go ahead and remove that one if it's in the way. Okay, that's the CV axle now. Now we need to go from the bottom. And uh, it will be about the same procedure for both cars, guys. So, uh, I mean for both sides. With very minor differences. Okay, and we are going to hammer it now. Okay, let me uh, get a good view. And this is guys the CV axle right here. You can see not very complicated procedure at all. You put it together in reverse order we took it apart you need to get this side in first okay in all the way until it clicks then you need to put this one on the help install the u-joint tie rod sway bar link and you know pretty much in reverse order so hopefully guys the video was helpful to some of you thank you guys for watching please subscribe give us a like let us know what you think and see you next time